hello I want to make some make a video about um, one video that I saw called uh, more communists than communists and um, just comment on it so I'm just gonna play it and check it out Stalin, Mao and Pol Pot killed a hundred million people under their evil communist leftist regimes trying to make a so-called utopia where everything is free and equal but that's not how it turned out no there was no freedom of press or speech all the artwork and everything written or said about the regime had to be complimentary well it was propaganda i tell you you couldn't be armed so you couldn't fight back you couldn't oppose or disagree with them or you'd be shipped off to the gulag to face torture and death. You dare not criticize the dear leader. No, that wasn't allowed. The only way you could speak about those dictators was with praise. I, I tell you, it was a nightmare. Imagine if your own mother was, was shipped off to some gulag and, and you weren't even allowed to complain about it. Not only that, but you have to be thankful. How many more lives must communism take? So, um, he pretty much criticizes communism, and I understand uh, many Christians do criticize communism. Um, to me, I really don't care what kind of government it is. Communism, capitalism, dictatorship, monarchy, whatever. Um, because I know that Romans chapter uh, 13 teaches that uh, every person is to be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God. You know, um, <clears throat> reality is this that, um, you know, May, I understand that many Christians caught up into um, all of this politics stuff, which I really don't care. Uh, and reality is this: that true Christians, that citizenship will be in heaven, not on earth. Any type of government, whatever. Uh, next thing is. Um, Says it. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you saw my other videos about uh, different other topics, but I do believe in a predestination. I don't believe in a free will. I believe that God predestined all things, including um, evil. And number one thing, <clears throat> God is from. Number one, I guess his goal is to glorify himself. And second is that fear people would fear him in this life or next life, uh, which is 100% accomplishable. And, uh, and also, if you're an atheist, for some reason you want to watch this, um, I don't believe that God loves everybody. I believe God hates most of the people. And God, God loves very few, few of His chosen elect, whom He predestinated unto salvation. So moving along, um, welcome to heaven, Joe. Another thing, um, if you're a Christian, uh, you might people, especially some of sensitive. Uh, there will be some language, so if you don't like um, cursing, cussing, which I don't like it too, and I believe that Christians should abstain from it, but for <clears throat> because just like Goliath was mocking the armies of God, uh, they still have to attack him and shut him up. So. Uh, if you're a sensitive Christian, you can stop watching it. Uh, so now we'll continue. Oh, God! That's right. I do, I do. Uh, listen, Jeffrey, 
Uh, go ahead and put him through an orientation. Oh, God, please don't make me do that. I hate orientation. Jeffrey. Okay, okay. Right this way, Joe. Just follow this street of gold here to your new mansion. My mansion? Yep. Everyone gets a mansion in heaven because everything is totally free and equal here. Uh, don't get too used to your mansion, though. You won't be spending much time there. And of course, um, in, uh, this guy, I believe, uh, this person right there, who is supposedly a Christian, um, I, mean, I believe he, by biblical standard, he's not a true Christian. Because, first of all, like uh, his reaction will be, oh, mama, no, no. But as far as I can tell, like, well, let's actually, let's play it a little bit more forward. Is, is that you? Kinda caught her at a bad time, Joe. Uh, maybe you'll recognize her when her skin grows back, but you gotta time it just right because it will get burned off again pretty quickly. Shapana? <laughs> I bet she was a believer! Uh, not exactly. Uh, she secretly did not believe actually that I created the universe, so I shipped her off to hell to be tortured forever. <laughs> so, as we can see, this guy cries and uh, for her mother, even though he probably knew that, or even, okay, if her mother believed secretly in evolution. And I believe that's denying the word of God. And she, as far as I can tell, she never repented of uh, this lie. And she believed the lie was the truth, that the God is the creator of heaven and earth. Well, most of the Christians would be like, oh, well, it's non-essential. Believe that God created in six days everything. And on seventh, he rested and called it holy. Well, the problem is that I don't believe in uh, so-called essentials and non-essentials. And um, reality is this why I don't believe that this guy, he would be in heaven. It's because this. Well, this is actually in the Gospels, um, multiple Gospels, not just one. <clears throat> it's in Matthew 12, verses 47 through 49, it says, um, Someone said to him, Behold, your mother and your brothers are standing outside seeking to speak to you. But Jesus answered the one who was uh, telling him and said, Who is my mother and who is my who are my brothers? And stretch out his hand towards his disciples. Very important. And uh, he said, Behold my ma mother and my brothers. Then uh, pretty much the same thing. Um, as, oh, actually, other thing is that in Mark, um, Christ says in verse 21, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left his uh, left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or farms for my sake and for the gospel's sake, but that he will receive a hundred times as much now in the present age houses and brothers and sisters and mothers 
and children and farms along with persecutions and in this age to come eternal life so the point is that um, <clears throat> that's a in the gospel all the f four gospels uh, talks about it the true family of Christian are Christians in reality is this in uh, Luke 14 talks about uh, Christ now um, actually inviting people to become his disciples and in verse 25 let's just read it verse 25 and 26 now large crowds were going along with him and he turned and said to them if anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters yes even his own life he cannot be my disciple whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me uh, uh, after me cannot be my disciple and of course people talk about the later part like counting the cost and everything else and yeah you should count the cost but the point is that it's before you become a Christian it's part of the gospel and sad to say is that um, many Christians downgrade the gospel of Jesus Christ to just pray a prayer or just believe or just don't even have to believe like Presbyterians for example just be baptized and be good to go or well, Roman Catholic Church so <clears throat> the point is that um, the whole scenario is it's him crying for his mother because she's in hell uh, it's uh, nonsense so I'll continue on remember that you're in heaven now and heaven is a happy place so I'm going to need you to turn that crown upside down <laughs> but mama Jerry I'm sensing that you have some choice words for me sort of on the tip of your tongue and I'd like to remind you that blasphemy is still a big no-no. Oh, no. No criticizing, no backtalk, and certainly no insulting your creator, etc. <laughs> Where's the rest of my family? I'm afraid that since you were a bit overbearing about your religion, uh, they were kind of afraid to tell you that they weren't actually believers? Well, well that's not entirely accurate, Jeffrey. Uh, some were believers, but they got the denomination wrong. Well, at least they're not alone, Joe. There's a hundred billion people in hell. Not nearly that many up here. Hey, if you want to make an omelet, you got to break some eggs. And uh, here I see that he mentions that some... Um, form of Christianity with his family and um, in reality is this that um, I guess this gentleman right there once again he was trying to ignore the scriptures were <clears throat> kind of clearly to me is that uh, that the scripture teaches this uh, but who, uh, whoever denies me before my I will also uh, deny him before my father who is in heaven do not think that I came to bring peace on earth I didn't come to bring peace but a sword for I came to set a man against his uh, father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and the man's enemies will be the enemies of his household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take his cross and follow me after, after me is not worthy of me. So the point is that once again, um, there will be many uh, Bible teaches, um, like in Matthew chapter seven, that. Uh, 
Matthew. Uh, actually, not Matthew, but uh, Luke. Um, um, and well, in Matthew is seven as well, but in Luke, it's like actually um, uh, kind of more clear. So. <clears throat> so the um, so he was passing through from one city and village to another teaching and pro proceeding on his way to Jerusalem and someone said to him Lord are there just a few who are being saved and he answered them strive to enter through the narrow door for many I tell you will seek to enter and will not be able to once the head uh, head of the house goes up and shuts the door and you begin to stand outside and uh, knock on the door saying Lord open up to us then he will answer and say to you I do not know you where you from so point is that many will enter uh, uh, Broadway or what's some uh, many people will not be able to enter uh, so it's kind of like it's almost like they portray this Christian well I would say he himself is a false Christian the guy whom they portray but I would blame this atheist for but so-called popular Christianity majority of Christianity because that's how they portray him. So let's continue. The wants of the few outweigh the needs of the many, right? What, what about little Jack and Grandma Sue and Aunt Betsy? Oh, there they are. <laughs> well, where's Uncle Mike? That son of a bitch molested me when I was little. Oh, uh, hey, Uncle Mike. Hiya, Joe. So good seeing you again. Here? You're here? Yeah, Uncle Mike repented right before he died, so you two get to spend eternity together. Speaking of which, me... Um, so, seems like this gentleman uh, right there, he is unforgiving, which is part of the gospel. So, um, forgive. I mean, three, at least three Gospels, like one of the things is like, but if you do not, there we go, Matthew 6, 15. But if you do not forgive others, then your Father will not forgive your transpasses, transgress, transgress, trans transgressions. Or your sins so um, Christians should be forgiven as part of the gospel that um, we should forgive to be be forgiven and he's surprised about uh, his uncle who molested him um, just bad one <clears throat> so and then Besides that, I want to address, um, I guess, Thief on the Cross. My opinion is that uh, Thief on the Cross was the last person who died under the Old Covenant. And in the New Covenant, uh, yes, there is a justification by faith, but also, as we read in Mark chapter 10, talks about um, pretty much suffering, is that no one will go 
besides uh, like in Philippians says, it's not only granted for you to believe, but also suffer for his name. And to some degree, I even say that thief on a cross suffered for Christ's sake. He was marked by another um, person who been also crucified next to Christ. But in the New Testament, specifically, a um, person will be forgiven. Um, no, I mean, a person will believe and also suffer for Christ's sake, and also he will be, be brought up in knowledge and truth of Christ, whatever is available to him. So, um, the point is that um, many um, Christians trying to kind of denigrate discipleship, like trying to bring the Old Testament, I would say, there's a big distinction between all the New Testaments. There's the same God, um, but the covenant or the law is different. Uh, I would say covenant is like a contract. You have commandments, you have the law, you have uh, blessings and curses, and you have also uh, 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 what's the name? deeds uh, that enables a a saint or believer uh, that is done by the Holy Spirit so there's a difference so let's continue um, so like I said this guy probably is not a true believer I mean how it's, it looks like he's not a true believer because he doesn't even forgive um, but continue sure to be up bright and early for worship worship yep that's what you're gonna be doing from now on you did enjoy church, right? Jeffrey, take it easy or you're gonna overwhelm him with all this good news. Worship? Well, obviously you're gonna want to thank me, right? Well, you get to do that forever and ever. Not only did I send all those people who believe the wrong things about me, or who criticize me, off to be tortured, but I saved your old Uncle Mike here. And Mike sure does know how to be a spineless, groveling sycophant who does nothing but constantly pay God compliments. Yep. After all, that's why I created you primitive primates in the first place, so that you could have the honor of dealing before me and paying me compliments forever. I mean, what else would the most intelligent mind in existence want besides constant groveling? Doesn't that sound so much more meaningful than those wicked, nihilistic atheists who wanted you to live your life to the fullest because they believed it was the only life you had? Exactly, Jeffrey. But now, you get to spend eternity kissing my ass. So meaningful. <laughs> Now they compare him to the tyrant, and honestly, I have no problem with it. The reason is this, and I understand many Christians probably never really thought of this or uh, researched it. So talks about fall, um, <clears throat> false teachers, false converts, and notice this that. Uh, for certain men have stolen in unaware men who long ago were designed for this condemnation, ungodly men who turned the grace of our God into the excuse for blunt immorality and deny our only master, word master actually is despotes, uh, a lord master especially of slaves. I just call them tyrant, so no problem calling God the ultimate tyrant because Christ is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Christ is controlling all things. And one of them is even the hearts of the kings like Nebuchadnezzar or Adolf Hitler or Mao uh, or any other. Um, any other government. So uh, I have no problems with that. 
but of course many Christians will um, be protesting this video I'm sure I'm not liking it uh, even my video not just um, this dark matter 2525 so if you have comments you can comment or you can contact me uh, it's on Facebook my name is Lexi Coughlin uh, <clears throat> that's me right there it's my page and type in my name in message that's it have a good day